nothing. And here's me curling my hair and putting on an extra necklace for the nurse. This one's with like one of these. Although she might take a look at mine and go, they're juicy, let's <laughs> chuck it in there. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome to the vlog. My mother is a legend. We all know she's a legend. But especially today, look what happened. Okay, yesterday she brought me breakfast, but she didn't realise that vegan cheese, when it's warmed up, turns into a bit dis disgusting. Today she's brought me, what is this? A sausage sandwich. Oh, Vegan, God. obviously. She's brought me ketchup and mustard to go with it and a giant coffee. Look at this. No sausage, obviously. Um, no um, cheese, obviously. Look. What a legend. Are we going to sit and have breakfast together? Mm. Oh my God. What have I done to deserve this? Nothing. I love you. Is it because I have to go and have a jab today? Maybe. <laughs> and I'm off work at the moment and why wouldn't I? Yeah, I love you, man. I love you more. Oh my god, look at Gary. Gary stuck himself under the pile of logs that make up his kind of block basking area. That way, look. <sighs> look at him. Hello, darling. Good morning, look sweetheart. Look at the screen. What do you so mean? That bit, that screen, the top bit. The top bit? Yeah. Do what with down. it? Down. Is he? Yeah, look. Oh, sweetheart, what are you doing in there like that? I've never seen him like that before. Anyway, that's him. Sweetie pie, what are you doing? I honestly thought that when you were like 16 or whatever and as you're going to have a tetanus or something, I honestly thought you were done and I'm confused at why I have to go and have a, oh I can't say it, what's it called, the one I have to go and have today? A pneumonococcal, pneumonococcal jab? It's like for the streptococcus meningitis and, it? and pneumonia, yeah. It's for pneumonia, streptococcus, and meningitis. But don't you already have that? I didn't, like, I wasn't aware that you need a top up. Have you not Googled the hell out of it though? I just uh, Googled what it was and I was like, yes, I'm having that, thanks. I've been told I need one, I will have it. <laughs> Do I want meningitis or pneumonia? No, I don't. Shall I have the vaccine? Yes, I will. I had pneumonia. Double pneumonia when I was a baby. I don't understand what makes it double. Is it pneumonia? Does it count as pneumonia when maybe it's in one lung and then they call it double pneumonia when you get it in both? Then I don't know. What is that how it works? Mom, what this know. motherfucker over here is laughing about? She's pissing herself. We were just googling the. It's not pneumococcal. It's pneumococcal. I can't even. Why are you laughing? <laughs> no. You know that. So the way that my GP now is set up is that. Um, they've kind of locked the they'll whole thing down, the so they're gonna come out to the car and stab me with it. <laughs> so I was like, "Well, it's got It'll to be, be tiny." It's, it's I tiny. don't, I don't. This doesn't stiffness of the arm or the leg where the vaccine is injected. Why would they do it in my leg? Well, because it might do it in your leg. It might be easier. That's all. No, it'd be easier to do it in my arm. Well, it depends. Probably feel normal. Sometimes you just get an achy arm, oh, don't you? What was that? <laughs> Speak up. Louder for the people in the back. Come on. No, nothing. I've got that NHS page up myself. I will read this it. This is just for my me for later in case I need to. In case you need to what? Why would you need to do anything? <laughs> what does it say? Stop laughing and <laughs> give me laughing. the information. I'm not laughing. Come on. It's the new, new what is it? Pneumococcal. Pneumococcal vaccine. Yeah. Is the injections, um, Sight reactions, there might be some a slight pain, soreness, warmth, standard, redness, standard, swelling, tenderness, standard, hard lump, hard lump. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny, muscle or sore joint or pain, that's fever, yeah. chills, headache, nausea, vomiting, stiffness of the arm or leg where the vaccine was injected. I'm not it. having it in my leg, although she might take a look at mine and go, they're juicy, let's <laughs> chuck it in there. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Is it necessary? Yes, it's necessary. It's good. It's important. Well, I think any vaccine that you are offered by your GP. I'm just curious as to why you're why you're having it because you you should have had all this when you were. Well, you fucked up then, didn't you? Well, I didn't fuck up. 
Well, it's on a system, isn't it, normally? So when you when you have the baby, yeah, they it. tell you when you're due for things and you just go in. And I had all my vaccines. We are a vaccinating family. You had them all. Unless that was the day. Seriously, there was the day you were literally clinging onto the car. <laughs> I was with Joe. You were screaming the house down. We, I was literally trying to yank you off of the car. How old was I? You were definitely under two. <laughs> and the nurse had to come out. And she said, oh dear, you're having trouble. I said, yes, I'm having trouble. Jo is with me, my sister, your auntie. She came out and she said, I'm not surprised she's screaming the house down. She said, she said, I'm really sorry. She said, we've called you in unnecessarily. She said, she's already had these vaccines. My sister said, I told you so. We were here just like a month ago or something. And I said... Well, I'm just going by what they've said. I said, I know we were here a month ago, but it was like, I'm sure you... Could be a different go, like, one. Every or... four to six weeks or something, because you'd had a God knows how many vaccines. You were clinging on for dear life. <laughs> was, we were literally, every time Joe peeled a finger away, you'd latch on again. We were like, it, was, it was awful. You were a tough little cookie. Um, yeah, it was a nightmare. Yes, that was God, the day she came out and said you hadn't, you'd had it, and maybe you hadn't. I don't know, but this is a bit odd because well, we asked the nurse as younger than two, and then adults over sixty-five. So it's like, but then it also says for anyone between the ages of two and sixty-five who either has a job like a welder where you'd be more um, susceptible welder, to that. <laughs> but no, absolutely not. Or if you have health problems that increase your risk of pneumococcal infection well, i don't know but you've obviously pinged up and they want you so but then i pinged up for um vulnerable people didn't i for yeah carol as we're calling her on my channel so i don't get demonetized um but i did ring my gp service and asked about that guys so those of you who suggested that thank you it was already um wrong and i have sorted it out and um i'm not meant to be on the list they don't know what flagged it up. He couldn't figure out what it was. He didn't know whether it was mental health stuff <laughs> or not. Because I get that would have been the only thing or the um, thingy. What was it? What did I have? Glandular fever, but like badly. But he couldn't figure it out otherwise. But it's better to like put me in an error and scare the living shit out of me. Well, that'll be fun. I really would rather have it in my arm. again because I have to go to the um, GP surgery today <laughs> to go and get that what is it I want to say it's like pneumococcal but it's not pneumon pneumo pneumococcal <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> um I have to go and get that jab don't know why but like whatever's fine I just do I just do as I'm told I just wanted to show you um I have this kind of giant cup I can't remember how much it holds, a lot though. Um, and I had another one by today. They had a, um, very limited colours now, which is understandable. I, I love blue, I'm obsessed. I got the, this is the classic, it's more of like a normal size. Um, and they all come with two lids. So they come with the, um, like the normal lid and then it comes with like one of these like straw lids. 
So if you're doing like ice drinks or like milkshakes or you get like cold or juices or anything, you can use this. And obviously these are reusable straws as well. So yeah, this color is, I can't remember what color. It's called Seaside. I will leave a link to these down below. So it's vacuum insulation, stainless steel, kitchen grade, BPA free, FDA approved, rust resistant. And then it's got premium copper coated insulation, sweat and burn free, durable coated. What I liked about this brand in particular was that 10% of the profit is given to charity. So I will leave all the details down below. It's um, from simplemodern.com. They stock these on Amazon as well. I'll leave you a couple of links below. And yeah, so I will like wash this out properly before I use it. So this is the, it's the classic and it says 16 ounces. I don't know what that is in milliliters. Anyway, but this is a normal size. And then this is the largest size that they do. So you can kind of see the difference. It's quite a lot taller anyway. So I thought you guys might be interested to see that. And the blue colour is so pretty. They do still have the blue colour. They have like a purple. They've got a couple of floral patterns still in stock. But some of the really cool ones like the marble and stuff you can't get right now. Um, so I have curled my hair. I will leave the curler that I used down below. I had the GHD like waving ones for years on and off. And... I had such a problem. I know they come with a warranty and everything and I had such a faff trying to send it back and everything and I was in touch with customer services. This happened to me like a couple of times. And so I ended up just like buying a new one and then that one has started giving me the um, like the red, like I'm not working noise and it's not the curler it's like the waving wand i've had numerous problems with ghd doing that to me like working fine for a couple of years and then the warranty like runs out and then suddenly it gives me like that red like doo -doo -doo, like i you know where it stopped working like the noise it makes so i bought a different waving wand from a different brand and it's way way cheaper i've had that for a couple of years now and I've had no problem with it and it gives my hair the same effect. So I don't normally use like a curling tong. I use something that's kind of like almost like an oblong or like a more like rectangular shape to give more of like a beachy wave. And then I put a little bit of like some texture spray. The fudge one that I'm using is really nice. And then a little bit of salt spray. And then I kind of just like piece it out a little bit and then when you go to put some dry shampoo in it for the next day because this will last me a couple of days it won't look quite as nice tomorrow but it will still look like cool and undone and then just before bed i will spray the shit out of it so that it's got a load of dry shampoo in it overnight and then in the morning i kind of rough it up a little bit and like see what it looks like and then if i want to put like a couple of curls in the front or something and the rest stays quite nice then i can do i used to get loads of questions on my beauty channel about how i do my hair so i thought i'd show you a little bit of that this morning because i haven't done anything like heat style it other than blow dry once since we've been in lockdown because i've just been kind of like scraping it back or whatever as you guys would have seen so yeah that is how i do my hair and this is what i will do to it when I have casting so any of those kind of like nice wavy pictures that you see where I'm all like <laughs> got casting today that's what I do so there you go um I'll leave a link I didn't leave a link in the vlog where I said I'd leave a link for these t-shirts I will leave a link in this vlog and I will go back to the description box on the other one and leave a link in there bad youtuber anyway um I am gonna have another coffee my mother is taking the piss out of me <laughs> don't do it there with all that shit they know that we're having work done i know but i don't we don't like care I we're, do. a, we're an open family it's fine it's not nice well then show us your fancy date <laughs> shoes <laughs> mum's finally taken off her slippers <laughs> <laughs> to take me to the doctors <laughs> i've got nowhere to put anything and here's me <laughs> curling my hair and putting on an extra necklace for the nurse <laughs> so Look at this one. She's put dangly earrings in. You're <laughs> putting a fancy scarf on it's now. It's cold outside. It's cold. You <laughs> might not think it's cold. I think it's cold. A mess today. I think you look cute. I look a mess. You look cute. Nice earrings. Right, let's oh. go on a date then. Come on. <laughs> a date to the doctor. <laughs> yeah. This is most exciting. A, I don't know whether they're going to stab me in the arm or in the thigh. Is my handbag down here? It better be, because I'm not going upstairs again. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's over there, it's fine. Right, we're on the way home now. 
my mum knew the nurse, which is nice. Of course, um, I the nurse. And the nurse Loved oh. Well, that's nice, isn't it? And yeah. she really liked my T-shirt, and we had a nice little chat. And then she stabbed me very quickly with a needle, <laughs> and I bled quite a lot. And then she said, "I'll give you a plaster, not to make me feel better, but because she didn't want me bleeding on my lovely white T-shirt." Um, and it really wasn't very painful at all. It was no bother. It was over in a split second. But my arm is fucking achy as shit. Excuse my French, but we swear on the channel. I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> she explained why you needed to have it. Because she, yeah, because so I had fever, um, glandular fever when I was younger. We're talking like 10 years ago. And um, it gave me pancytopenia or something. So it's just basically where your blood cells are all over the place. I can't remember whether they're too high or too low or which ones it, it is, obviously, because you have red and white. Um, but they thought I had leukemia first and so I'm on the list and she said well that that has been resolved supposedly um, it says fully resolved now but she said we're still offering it to you and I was like well if you're offering it to me I'm gonna take it aren't I why would you not take the vaccine yeah absolutely. it doesn't cost me anything it takes two seconds and it protects against like streptococcus meningitis um, sepsis and pneumonia why would I not get that especially with like covid now why would i not sorry carol why would i not do that had a nice date with the nurse and now we're gonna go home and i need something to eat i'm getting hangry are you i've got a police car coming a bit like this why do you keep saying that i don't know i get really nervous when there's police cars about i don't know why well you shouldn't because nothing's no. wrong but i do it's really weird why are you a secret drug smuggler or something yeah Absolutely. Always. Anyway, we'll see you when we get home. Hello, hello. I have got my slippers on and the big man is chilling with me. Been a little bit grumps today. Been a little bit grumps. Hmm? He's like, mmm. Leave me alone, Mum. So he's having some chill time. He's out and about. I am just sitting, doing my editing. <laughs> um, anyway, my arm is very, very achy. But other than that, I feel fine. So, you know. I'm a brave girl. <laughs> I'm such a knob. I don't know why you lot enjoy watching me so much. <laughs> um, so the big man is having a little chill time aren't you my laptop is driving me utterly utterly insane today i don't understand this i use um clean my mac to clean my mac and i do this every time i do a video basically i clean all the cache files i don't know <laughs> i'm not a computer person i clean everything because if I don't, it tells me that my startup disk is nearly full all of the fucking time. Because obviously I'm uploading, I'm importing loads of footage into iMovie all the time. And then once I have uploaded that and moved that finished project onto my external hard drive, what I will do is I will delete it completely, all of those media files, the finished project and everything off of my laptop. Because I have this recurring problem, whereas otherwise it will stop importing footage or it won't be able to write the file for when it is uploading to YouTube and all this kind of stuff because for some reason my startup disk is always nearly full and I have absolutely no idea why. And obviously I can't take it somewhere, I don't want to send it off because I'm daily vlogging, all of this kind of stuff. But this has been a problem often. And then I cleaned it and it says, oh brilliant, 63 gigs has been cleaned off your MacBook, leaving you 37 gigs left on your hard drive. Can someone explain to me? how that is a thing if i take off and it and 65 point whatever it was is cleaned how does that only leave me with 37 left am i just really really stupid or does that maths not work because i don't think that that maths works someone please tell me and then i was watching it and i actually took some pictures whether i can be bothered to insert them here for your viewing i don't know we'll see what happens when this goes live <laughs> but it started saying you've got 37 or i don't know what i said now like 35 or whatever it was number 0.573 
and then 30 seconds later it said 0.56 free and I was thinking so even though I'm not doing anything and I've left it open on that page and I'm not touching my computer whatsoever and nothing is uploading or doing anything my startup disk space or whatever hard drive disk space I don't know whatever I don't know you know what I mean it's going down like every 30 seconds by 0 0.01 or whatever like what I'm not doing anything so how does that work so I mean <sighs> Anyway, it's quarter past four. I haven't even imported my footage is my problem. Doctors took ages because it just did. Um, and then this footage is just not, it's not happening. I watched Neighbours and had lunch and left my laptop alone for a bit because I thought that might help. Oh, and I also posted a picture of my nice panache lingerie on my Instagram. So if you could go give that a like, that would be grand. Thank you. Links and stuff in the description as always. I think the rest of the day is just going to be spent editing to be honest. Dad's working from home. Mum's downstairs watching the three day nanny because that's what I watch in the evenings and she asked me to leave it on the box for her. And I'm just going to keep an eye on this little monster while he has some out and about time. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll catch you in a bit. So it is about 20 past nine. Mum and dad are just going to bed. <laughs> and I am just heating up my um, like cottage pie thing that I made the other day. I've had my bath and my cute little PJ set and my slippers that need replacing. Um, and I'm just gonna sit and have dinner and watch some TV. I'm gonna watch an episode of um, Kings of Pain. I don't know how I feel about it because they get animals to bite them and I don't really see how like antagonizing a reticulated python is science but it is entertaining I just don't know how I feel about it yet anyway I have heated up my food now so I'm gonna go um love to you all I hope you enjoyed the vlog uh, and yeah I mean I'll see you again tomorrow <laughs> as usual so have a good sleep everyone um i hope you had an okay day sending you all lots of love thanks for all nice comments and stuff um thanks for continuing to watch the vlogs follow me on my instagram because there's more i guess there's more like glamorous shit there um and <laughs> yeah i'll see you very soon okay bye